what's going on everybody? Sports 3 here. Today we're going to have a look at the God of War Hades video game action figure. This is Series 1 put out by DC Unlimited. Man, look at this thing. He looks freakishly awesome sitting in there. Oh, quick shot of the back for you. There's the other figures from the line. I've already done Kratos and I reviewed the Hercules. Soon I'll have to do the Zeus, but today we're going to look at the Hades. Another quick read for you right there if you want to try to read that I'll, I'll scroll through there real quick for you there you go nice little read up for you all right let's get this thing out of his plastic tomb and have a closer look all right so first things first here just to let you know inside the package you get his two claws you get a little stand some instructions and the instructions are for these little packages with our which are his spikes and they're labeled a b c and d so you get four little baggies with some extra spikes which leads me to ask why wouldn't they just put them on like they put on all the other ones? And there's a bunch of holes all through this guy. Quick spin around for you guys. So you can see all the little holes in there. And where we need to plug on all these extra little spikes. To make them really look more screen accurate I suppose. So there are some instructions. I wasn't really expecting this all that much. But there you go. It just tells you the, the A's go here, the B's go there, the C's and so on, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll uh, we'll move on. Okay, so now we got all the extra spikes and everything put in. And one thing I want to note is that some of them didn't want to go in. And I realized that I needed to do something to bevel out the holes because they were filled with paint and gunk. So I grabbed a couple little tiny screwdrivers here and I just used them and I was beveling them out and boring them out. And ultimately, especially on this arm right here, uh, these particular spikes here, I just ended up using super glue and I put them in there and I just glued them because, you know, why not? And then I still got to go through and uh, glue in the rest of them. So I recommend doing that because it's pointless. What's going to end up happening, you're going to move this figure and they're going to fall out. It's kind of a pain. I really can't understand why they wouldn't just put them in and then package them up. But whatever, you know, I think it has something to do with maybe packaging reasons. You know, because of the arms fitting in the molded plastic package. But that's okay. So anyway, this figure comes with a stand here. Just a basic little disc stand with one little peg on there. Just like that. And then, of course, under here, there's one foot here with the hole. And, oh, there's the helmet. We'll go right to that. So here's the helmet. It's got this bronze, bronze uh, sparkle shine to it. Looks very nice. Very cool. So it just rests on there. It's not... Uh, there's no grooves or anything where it sits on there, so it is just resting on there, so it will come off, obviously. And here are his uh, claws of Hades, if you will, and they fit firmly in his hands, just like so. And those points, these are soft up here or whatever, but the spikes here are very pointy, so uh, be mindful of that. Uh, they can hurt you if you like, were to like, push that on your skin or whatever. They are very pointy. But this guy is actually quite awesome. He's very large. He's the biggest out of the, the series. We'll bring in Hercules here. Quick size comparison. So here's Hercules. There you go. And it's a good thing they come with stands because they are heavy. And they do want to topple over a little bit. So especially the Hades figure here. He is a shelf diver. Clearly, I can tell just from the way he is. Even though, even though you can position his feet a certain way. Use the little disc stand. Uh, just to make sure he doesn't get those feet just right. These aren't highly posable figures. Uh, they're more figurine type display pieces. And it does look awesome. So you can spin them here at his thigh. And then here just above his knee here as well. So you can get them to pose just like this. It's kind of pointless to have that articulation. Because you got to have these just a certain way for him to stand right. But we'll take an up close shot of his face. Look at that. That is so freakishly cool. Oh, man. I like that. And one of the other things I noticed, too, is there are other holes on his body in various places. Like here on the back, there's a couple of holes. And there's another one down by his spine here. And now on the pictures, it doesn't show he has spikes in there. But why wouldn't you put spikes in there, too? Why not, right? Now, it's, it kind of, that throws it off. That's the only thing about this figurine that throws me off is that I know there's holes. Here's a couple more right here. So I guess if you wanted to, before you put these in, you can maybe put them wherever you want. So you can kind of use your imagination and fill these instead of the ones that come in the instructions. You can do that. So, and the only other points of articulation here are at the wrist. But once you get his claws in his hands, that's it. You know, I guess you can 
kind of move this one here but it's so close to his leg it kind of just fits right there and then this one here you can turn that as well they do fit in there quite snug so you don't have to worry about them falling out you kind of have to force them a little bit take your time putting them in there so you don't break the the fingers off or anything so overall he stands um we'll bring in the NECA Kratos so he stands because he's hunched over and everything he stands maybe seven inches if you if you don't count the spikes on his back uh, if you do, he stands about eight inches if you count the spikes. So there's Kratos there. But overall, uh, this is a, this is a rare figure from what I understand. I don't know this to be fact, but from what I understand, he is short packed in the case. So he does fetch a higher price. Luckily, I think I got this for $25. Uh, but I've seen him on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. Even Amazon too, ridiculous amounts of money. It's not worth $100. It's not worth $70, $80. If you can get this for $25, $30, uh, a little above retail, you know, it's, it's worth it. Pick them up, add them to your collection. It makes a great display piece. But there you go from the God of War video game, Hades by DC Unlimited. Very cool looking figure. Worth having if, if you're into the God of War series. It's a nice figure to have. It's perfect for display. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.